Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Sophie. I am a teen mom to my two baby boys, Luke and Zeke. They are identical twins. We all just moved into a brand new apartment in South Carolina. So basically, we've only been here for like a little over maybe close to two weeks and we are just really getting settled. So one of my main goals was to just go on one huge ginormous shopping trip and just get all of our food and baking ingredients and just like all of that stuff um, to hold us over for a while because for the past two weeks we've basically been going for like the basics like milk, eggs, butter, bread, stuff like that, cereal. So we don't really have very much in the apartment right now. We've been struggling to like make meals so we've been kind of door dashing and like grub hubbing and stuff like that which isn't really the best thing to do especially like money wise. So we just really wanted to finally go on one big shopping trip to just get our apartment stocked. Josh is with the kids right now. I just wanted to start this video off. And I also wanted to tell you guys that this video is sponsored by Fetch. And I have talked about Fetch before on the channel multiple different times because I freaking love it. It's the most convenient, easy app to use. Especially being a mom, I shop all the time. I feel like I'm always at Target or Walmart or Harris Teeter. Like I feel like I'm always there because there's constantly stuff that I need to buy. And so obviously everyone wants to save money and that is what Fetch is there to do. Basically Fetch is an app where you scan your receipts anytime you go shopping. You just literally take a picture of the whole receipt and it gives you points. Fetch is partnered with a ton of really really well known brands like Dove and Lay's and Ben and Jerry's. Just a ton of food items that you would probably be buying anyways. You can get your money back. And with those points, you can go redeem rewards. And right now, especially with everything going on with the virus, I don't like to talk about it too much. I like to stay as positive as possible. But right now, they are actually doing a new thing on their app where you can actually scan your e-receipt. You basically just connect your email and or your Amazon account, and it will just see all of the receipts that come in from any purchases you buy online. So I did take a little video last night. I placed an order on Amazon for some skincare products. I think it was shampoo, body wash a scrub diapers because I buy all of my diapers on Amazon and I basically just did that hooked up my Amazon and it saw that I bought all of those products and it gave me points right through that so if you guys just aren't feeling comfortable going to the store right now because I know it is a really stressful time you guys can still do all of your shopping online and still use fetch to scan your e-receipts and get points on all of your purchases online as well and I was just talking about the rewards so basically you can also get Amazon gift cards and Visa gift cards and iTunes gift cards and video game gift cards and a ton of stuff like that so you can still enjoy all the rewards at home right now so i'm about to go on a ginormous shopping trip so i'm gonna have a massive receipt and i'm actually so excited to see how many points i can get from this one shopping trip so i'm gonna cut back here um when i have that receipt to just show you guys how i take a picture of it really fast and put it in so just wait one second for that okay guys so i'm recording on fetch i just got back from the store so i just wanted to quickly um cut in what it, scanning my receipt looks like so i'm clicking on the yellow camera button this is my ginormous receipt so i want to see how i can take a picture of this this is abnormally long so all right so i'm adding multiple sections to this receipt because it's literally so long and now total i have almost 8,000 points which is awesome and i can then go redeem these are the rewards right now i actually can right now get a five dollar gift card and i'm really close to being able to get a ten dollar one so if you guys want to try this out for yourself you can just use the link in my description box to download the app and you'll be all set now on to the rest of the video okay guys so i'm finally done getting ready josh always waits on me in the morning um we kind of slept in today so i couldn't get ready before the babies woke up so he had them while i just did my makeup and my hair really fast it is like a beautiful day out right now and i'm gonna go in there and say good morning to the kids and then we're gonna get them breakfast before we head out to the store hi <laughs> we're reading the animal hi book. baby boys Vicky really likes it his yeah. favorite <laughs> His favorite was the monkey noise. Are you guys reading a book? Mm -hmm. they, they seem to be They actually really with it. wanted to be here. They really wanted to like listen to it. Hi, lovers. Luke, of course, wants to slap every page and touch every animal, but Zeke was just sitting there for through like three books and he was just listening. 
but good they job, both did a Mickey. really good job. Good job. And then when I put one book, when we finished a book and I put it back, they mm. actually both got upset and then I took <laughs> out this one. Last night was the first time they slept in the cribs, which was awesome. They definitely slept a lot better than what they oh. have been. And the room still looks awesome to me. We got books on that bookshelf. I am so happy with this room right now. Mm -hmm. um, eventually, not right now because it's not the top priority, but I am planning on getting some like cute BG little boy decorations um, to spice up the room a little bit because as much as it looks good right now, it does look a little plain and boring. So that's next on the list for another day. All right, guys, so this is the kitchen right now. Basically, we have two loaves of bread. And then what you see in here is basically all we have. <laughs> in the whole house so we have like pancake mix um pop tarts some protein bars cereal dates but that's for like the kids we do have a bag right there that has some snacks in it for the kids but it's like the same things over and over again and then this is our fridge and i know it looks kind of full but a lot of this is like leftover food from food that we got out so we have like pizza and that's leftover pastas that we got from from a restaurant. And then we have eggs. We have a little bit of milk left. And just some, like, really random, like, condiments. So it's not looking that great right now. And then in the freezer, we have one thing of pasta and one thing of chicken nuggets. So <laughs> it's pretty bad right now. It's going to be a huge, huge, huge trip. I'm nervous for how much this is gonna cost. <laughs> now I need to try to find the baby's breakfast, which is obviously difficult when we don't have very much. Usually I've just been making them eggs or oatmeal every morning or yogurt. That's kind of been my top three options. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to give them more in a second, but basically for breakfast they're eating a protein bar and I know it seems kind of weird, but they're so healthy for them and they actually like love protein bars. So once in a while we'll do that for breakfast. That's what we're going to do today because I'm planning on actually making a meal later, after the shopping trip. But you like your protein bars? You're so healthy. And I'm making Josh do his dishes. And what? Making you do the dishes because oh, yeah. it's getting a little full over there. Okay, we are now all packed up into the car and time to go to the grocery Yay. store to get tons of groceries. Alright guys, we're at the store. Binky's on me. He's in there. He washed it down and everything, so it's all good. And then our plan is basically just to walk up and down every aisle, and whatever we see and want, we get. Alright, we just went to one side of the store, and the very first thing that we're at is frozen fruit. Okay, these are the smoothie blends. Um, Tropical fruit blend, banana, mango, berry. Alright, so I really want to start making smoothies for the babies, so I just got... Those fruits for now, and then we're gonna keep on moving on because we're with ice cream right now. But we don't really eat ice creams that much. So it looks bad now because we were just only in the frozen section, but I'm really trying to be as healthy as possible, but like it's really hard, but I'm really trying. Um, we just started with the frozen section, so obviously we're getting frozen right now, but we are about to go to the fresh food section and get more fresher foods as well. Right now we're with all of the Eggo products, and I'm so tempted, but I know that we can just make waffles and pancakes, so I'm not gonna get that, as well as like all of these egg sandwiches, because we can just make them with fresh eggs and bread and cheese. It's not that difficult. I'm trying to get better at that. Mm. Mm. Same with all the pastas, even though they look 
baby. Even though they look so good, the pastas I could just make from home. I am going to get some frozen vegetables though um, for the babies. It's just a little bit easier sometimes to just be able to heat it up and it's not that much different. from the store and it was just really crazy with babies because they started getting super cranky I don't know why they were like excessively cranky but they were especially after like a good night's sleep but it was just really hard to shop with them so we did get a lot of stuff maybe not as much as if it was like just me and Josh but this is our receipt it's huge and um you can't even see the bottom of it it's really big I'm just gonna tell you guys the pricing because it's actually freaking awesome we went to Harris Teeter you gotta see how big this is and it only costed $280 total, which I think is like pretty dang good. I'll show you the bags. It's a lot. All right, I just put everything away, and this is what the kitchen is looking like right now, or basically our pantries. So that is a lot of like our baking ingredients and spices and stuff. And then we have most of our snacks in these cupboards, and then the fridge. It's not neat yet. I still have to organize it, but. Everything is at least in here, and we have a full fridge, which is very different from the beginning of the day, as well as a full freezer. So, it's looking much, much, much better in here. Hello guys, it is now 3.30, and we just got the kids up, and I'm now making them a little snack before we head out, because we are going to go to the beach. The beaches here are now finally open in South Carolina, at least in Charleston area. So that's amazing. So we're going to go just take a walk on the beach because I've been wanting to do that since we got here and haven't been able to. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm making them peanut butter toast right now. I'm waiting for the toast to be done in the oven because they are a little cranky still. Guys, I've said it in like every video now, but these kids are going through a phase and I can just... I just, I can tell and I'm just really hoping that we get over this soon. Luke, what's wrong? What's wrong? So there's nothing. He just got changed. These are brand new clothes. He just woke up from his nap and they ate right before they went down to their nap. So it's not like they're starving. Why are you like all sad for no reason? Oh, dude. How does peanut butter toast sound? Dead? Does it sound dead? Who is that? He's still not happy. Okay. He's like squirming. Usually he loves to be held, or at least likes to be played with, and we were just trying to play with him, and he was still screaming. So this just isn't fun right now. It's okay. <laughs> you are the most ugh, confusing little child. Yes, you are. Even your brother, who's normally the cranky one, is a lot better. 
Oh. We just got mail. Giant mail. He has like a ginormous box. I think it might be a vanity that I got. I don't know what this is. These are smaller than I thought. So I got hooks to put like in our bathroom to hold towels. These are so small, but they're cute. Look at them. They're like, they just stick them on because they have adhesive. And then it supposedly holds like 10 pounds or something. So they feel really nice, like quality. So I'm just gonna put these like on the wall by the shower and then on the back of our doors. Oh, it's oh, just more of the same colors. Okay. Oh, they just came late. Uh, just more cups. Oh, little we, cups. Yeah, they're just okay. different sizes. So I'm just gonna put it up here instead, like there. Mm -hmm. Does that look? Yeah, as long as you get it like centered, it'll look it. fine. Yeah. And then just push it in. Does that look straight to you? Um. Not really. Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> that's better. Yeah, that's better. Uh, a little more, maybe. So it's uh, I would say leave that. <laughs> that does look pretty dang good. Yeah, okay. just push it in now. Okay. All right, guys, and that is what it looks like when there is a towel actually hanging on it. Oh yeah. Here's Professor Sophie at work, putting together her vanity and the legs on. How is it? Honestly, I'm getting used to this now. I'm learning so much because I put together my kitchen table chairs and I learned how to use this thing, <laughs> yeah. Allen key thingy. Yeah. And I learned that you have to do both screws at the same time. Um, you can't just do one and then the other because it doesn't work that way. Good job. So look at me going. Now I got one sturdy. Oh yeah, one sturdy leg done. Now three more. Sophie has completed this thing, whatever it's called, and now she's working on her stool. It was like pretty difficult, like harder than I thought, harder than the chairs were. But I am so proud of myself. We don't mm. need no man. No handyman. Independent woman. Looks great. Oh. Though. It fits the room really nicely. Yeah. Especially, Especially like yeah, hair. I was going to say. Yeah. But look at that. So fancy to do your makeup at. Okay, now we are all going to the beach really quick for a little bit. But I'm door dashing in like an hour. So we have to be back here. And Beaky is yelling for like no reason really right now. So yeah. We got Mr. Hoopy's little hat. Beaky didn't like the hat so much. Nah, he so ripped it off. It's so nice out and a ton of people are here. Oh. Um.